All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 67. All right. So following the same pattern as we did for the button text, we're going to update the three buttons on click assignments to be the first, second, and third values of the button functions array. All right. So basically, we're going to uh, set these ones right here. So uh, 0, 1, and 2 on those ones. So what we're going to do, uh, let's just take this location uh, and then button text at 0 right here. Let's copy that. Let's double click go store uh, and drop that off. Drop that off on go cave and also on fight dragon, right? So on this second one, let's, uh, the second zero, let's change it to a one. And this third zero, let's change it to a two like that. That should take care of it. Uh, let's uh, test it out by doing the uh, go town function call again. And you see we're back here. Uh, let's open up the console. Let's say click go store. And that doesn't do anything. Go to cave. That doesn't do anything. Did this not work? Uh, da, 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 location button. To, oh, let's change this text too while we're at it. Uh, let's change it to functions. Let's copy the functions right here. I mean, it doesn't matter which one. Just copy functions, whatever. And then let's click this text right here and this text and this text and replace them all with functions, right? So now let's click these go to stores, go to, right? So go to cave. And go to and fight the dragon works. Uh, I don't know why go to store doesn't work. Let's check the code. Looks good. Well, I mean, it's good, so it works. So we'll probably figure that stuff out later and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 68, and we'll see you next time.